¿Cómo va mirando mientras que va manejando? Good morning, Internet. It is 8.46 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Now, I am uh, almost uh, ready to go. I am now in a town called Mulchen in Chile. And today I'm crossing back into Argentina. And the reason for that, I will show it on the map. Because I am now here in Mulchen. And my plan was to skip Santiago because there are still some protests. And, well, I've been there before, so I don't really have to go there. So I thought... I'd rather go to Mendoza uh, in the on the Argentina side because I've never been in Mendoza before. Um, but between here and well, this whole stretch, uh, I don't think it is too interesting because the main highway just runs straight here through the middle and that doesn't go through the mountains and there's not really a mountain road it's only the roads going like that and they, those are either dead ends or they're border crossings towards Argentina. Uh, maybe on the other side you can see it. See, so this is that stretch that I'm talking about, and it is really flat. Whereas on the Argentina side, actually here, there is a lot more mountains. So that's why I am going to cross back into Argentina and then ride all this part uh, on the Argentina side of the Andes. Hey, kitty. What do you want? Hmm? You like the map? <laughs> so, um, back to today. That means that I'm gonna cross from Mulchen here into Argentina and then I'm gonna ride uh, up here a little bit um, to a very small town um, which I don't even know the name. So that means that the total distance of today is going to be around 300 kilometers and I think the road towards the border from here on the Chile side is gonna be all paved uh, and I don't think it's gonna be too interesting until I get really close to the border and I'm back in the mountains and then my guess is that on the Argentina side it's probably unpaved and uh, a gravel road but hey let's uh, <laughs> let's find out I've never been here before so um, yeah let's go before I have a function. Adios. Gracias. Ciao. Gracias. Hmm? You gonna change me or are you gonna be nice? Jason. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> okay, move. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Move. <laughs> what are you doing? Are oh, you playing? <laughs> paved until the border on the Chile side but wow it is again gorgeous gorgeous around here wow look at this I'm now entering uh, National Park Laguna Laga Hola, buenas. ¿Cómo está? Bien, ¿y usted? Bien. ¿De dónde viene? Holanda. Holanda. Sí. ¿Para dónde va? Argentina. ¿Va a Argentina? Sí. ¿A pasar por aquí por el paso? Sí. Ya. Con harto cuidado. Vaya barriero. Ok, gracias. Después de Argentina, ¿para dónde va? Ah? Alaska. ¿A ah, Alaska? Sí. ¿Solamente la moto? Mire qué bueno. ¿Qué motor tiene esa? ¿Motor? 
Cilindra... 400. 400. Ni un problema. Ningún problema. Pura moto. Sí. <risa> Gracias. <risa> Chao. There is a town here, just right at the foot of the volcano. Incredible, I didn't expect that to be honest. Ah, right, so it's also a ski resort or, I mean, oh ah, yeah, I can see the cable going up. So in winter time, uh, you can ski off the volcano. Volcan Antuco Centro de Ski. Wow. Hola. <laughs> Disculpe. Sí. 
carne de identidad y los papeles de la moto. Sí. ¿Sola? Sí, sí. Gracias, chao. So that was the chilly side. Very nice people. They filled up my uh, camel bag with water because uh, yeah, temperatures are really rising. I think again today it's about 25 degrees Celsius, maybe a bit more. So suddenly I'm drinking a lot more water. So uh, they gave me a full bag, one half liters, so that's perfect. Now it's 12 kilometers to the Argentinian side of the border. And I asked them, uh, do you get a lot of people here? They're like, no. <laughs> and in the winter time, he said, uh, this border was even closed for three months because there was two meters of snow. So, um, Got the place all to myself. Look how stunning it is here. Unbelievable. Argentina side. Wow, that was a very long stretch of no man's land. Very long. Do I go on the side or should I wait? That's here? Ah, no, usted es de... De Holanda. Holanda. Ya hace lejos de su país. Disculpe. Ya hace muy lejos de su país. Sí, sí, es muy lejos. ¿Viene a conocer Argentina? ¿Me dice su nombre? Nora Lee. Sí, ¿Me pasa su... Pasaporte. Sí. Más raro. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Hacia dónde se dirige? ¿Hacia dónde se dirige? ¿Hacia dónde se va? Eh... Chamalal. ¿Cómo va mirando mientras que va manejando? Ah, me pasa su... Okay. ¿Qué tiene familiar ahí o se va a conocer? No, viaja sola. ¿Viaja sola? ¿Qué le... familia está en Holanda. ¿Qué le gusta viajar sola o qué? Sí. <risa> no. Eh, no. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Ah. Ahí está. A ver, pues, sí. Oh, y, sí. 
Noral. Noral. ¿Siempre viene de vacaciones para Argentina? ¿O primera vez? No, um, dice, estoy viajando al mundo en moto. ¿Ah, sí? No solo Argentina, sí. ¿Pero siempre hace así? Hace un año. ¿O sea, le quedaba esta parte acá? Eh, es la primera vez. ¿La primera parte. vez? Sí, sí. ¿Y hace solo esta parte del sur de Argentina o hace la parte norte de Argentina? No, en Argentina comencé en Buenos Aires. Ajá. Y desde Buenos Aires fui a Ushuaia. Ajá. Y ahora voy al norte. El, ¿Su número de, de identidad? 93. Ese me puede pasar, 93. Sí. Este que marca 2000. Marca es Royal Enfield. ¿Qué? That was that. Entonces, bienvenidos. Welcome back to Argentina. Very nice border crossing. You can tell uh, by the officials that not many people pass here because they were super interested in hearing my story and are you really alone? Really? <laughs> yeah, they definitely don't see a lot of people here. Buen caballo. <laughs> Chao. <laughs> I just passed through uh, this small town. This town is called uh, Guanacos. Guanacos. But it is so small, there is no place to stay. So I have to ride uh, 25 kilometers more. And then there's a slightly bigger town. This is a Osteria, the Sequoia. Put uh, poor the no in the shade. Oh, it is hot. I think it's whew, maybe 30 degrees Celsius. This was the first time I opened the ventilation zippers <laughs> of my suit. And this is where I'm staying. Oh, wow, I, I don't even know where to begin with today. It was incredible. I, I think in the when I'm going to edit this video, I have to cut out all the wow, 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 because it's going to get old at some point. But 
uh, the landscapes just changed so rapidly. It felt like every five kilometers it looked completely different. So stunning. Again, riding super close to a volcano was just incredible. And yeah, I could have stopped on every corner to take a picture. It was just so beautiful. Really enjoyed the day. After the last in the last video when I was riding on the volcano, I thought, ah, what can beat this? But today I was just like, ah, it's just getting better and better. Really, really love today. Um, I can really notice that I'm getting more north now. It's getting really quite hot. Um, I am still, <laughs> I still have the liner in the pants, so I'll take those out for the next ride. And I think I'll start riding with my summer gloves because it's getting really quite hot. But uh, yeah, other than that, fabulous, fabulous, really. Uh, I was just riding with a big smile on my face the whole time. Um, so yeah, that was it for today. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.